My name is Kent Davey. I'm the editor of the North County Times. A number of years ago, in looking at North County, we collectively in the newsroom um, said, you know, we're living here in an extraordinarily wealthy, rich society. Yet, if we walk through Grape Day Park or you drive up Escondido Boulevard and Vista uh, or go to um, one of the parks along the coast, you will see people sleeping on the street, obviously uh, homeless. And we thought that it would be valuable for the community conversation to start to understand what the nature of homelessness in North County was, what its contributing factors were, what kind of programs were available to try and address the needs, to meet the problems, um, to offer solutions or hope for those people, but also to report the other side of it, and then there, there is another side of it in that, that there are people who say, I, we don't want homeless here, we don't want to help, we've done our share. Big fights between cities who say, we already paid our fair share, somebody else needs to do theirs. So we very deliberately set out to try and make the issue of homelessness a newsworthy uh, event and, and between, and I don't remember the months anymore, but between say November uh, and May of a, of, of a year, and this would have been probably six years ago or so, we probably did 100, 150 stories on homelessness. All of that, I think, in the classic sense of how or what the function of a, a local newspaper is, it is to try and create this a space for and the information for a community to have a conversation and say, okay, us community, it's just us, what are we going to do about this? Anything? Can we fix something? Can we make a difference? Um, my general view of the world is that people make a difference not in great abstractions, but they make a difference in one-on-one. -on -one. I, I can make a difference in one person's life over there, and maybe then a second, and there is a multiplier in the, you know, the, the, the language of the movie a few years ago, pay it forward, and, and you pay it forward to three people, and those three to nine, and, and uh, the, uh, the power of, of, uh, of a logarithmic scale comes into effect, in which nine becomes nine million without many iterations. Um, I think that's the, the, the genius of uh, what was the driving force behind the original Hawking program uh, to sell newspapers and, and use guys trying to go through drug rehab and Chris starting Solutions for Change where he's saying, saying, look, we can make a difference one family at a time. And if we can move this family from here to there, then their kids won't show up in this spot. And that w it will pay forward again. Um, you only need three things to live. I, th and this is just me talking. I think you need something to eat, you need a warm place to sleep, and you need somebody to care about you. Those three things, in very general terms, is all any human being needs. The rest of this stuff that I've got, I, you know, it's nice, it's wonderful gravy. But we can give that to, to our fellow human beings. And I think that's what um, efforts like Solutions for Change, or in some sense, a newspaper trying to say, hey, this is the problem. What do you guys want to do about it? We, that, that's what this is all about, why it's important uh, and does make a difference. I think it crosses across ideological lines. It crosses across class lines. Um, and I have, I didn't this last year, but prior to my wife dying, every year we would go volunteer at an interface shelter and eat their cook meals uh, and do the arrangement, or it's certainly being host, host at the shelters. And one of the things that you learn pretty quickly when you're, when, you're, when you're sitting at a table and sharing a meal there and engaged in the conversation is there but for the grace of God go I. And I'm about that, that close for being in the same spot where I'm gonna be lucky if I have a car and a few things and maybe somebody will give me a place to sleep tonight. Um, I, I am extraordinarily proud of the work that the people at this newspaper 
have done on this issue and will continue to do. I do believe that their efforts do make a difference um, and that by sparking someone else's imagination by what they write, by prodding a conscience to do the right thing, um, that, that it goes out and multiplies, that um, it has an effect on the way other people think and, they, and, and act and ultimately evolves to mean that there are, that we have an influence. That is the role I think a newspaper has, is to try and say this is what we know, this is what we believe, and we seek justice and truth and righteousness. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the folks here.